Welcome to the first half of sports here on Late Edition. I'm Beth Mensinger. Ken Cara has the night off. It was a muggy and rainy morning for the Berwick Bulldogs football team's media day, but there was excitement in the air. Famed coach George Curry is back at the head after former coach Gary Campbell stepped down. And while Curry said it was strange at first, within a few weeks it was like he never left. It's been six weeks since the Bulldogs in Berwick started their preseason practices, and Hall of Fame coach George Curry is back at the reins. Curry said at this point, the team is at about 75% of where they should be in learning his gridiron tested system, where discipline is the name of the game. If you're disciplined, you're going to be committed, commitment. And you're going to do everything else. You'll, you'll be motivated, you'll be accountable, responsible, but you have to have discipline. You know, if they don't want to, respond to promptness and, and keeping your mouth shut, do what you're told, do it with enthusiasm, uh, rally yourself if you had a bad play or a bad, it's all about discipline and, and, and football is a good teacher of that. With one of the most storied careers in high school football, Curry knows a good group when he sees one and this year is no different. I like the, the looks of these kids physically and, and speed wise, we got good speed, but I don't know. Because we start hitting Monday. We did not hit. Everything up to this time, I, I think the, the, there's some good talent here. Burke always has talent. And this is no different. And I think the key is when we put the helmet and the full gear on Monday morning, we'll find out what we're all about. Stepping up to take the snap this year is 6'2", 185-pound junior C.J. Curry, who is also George Curry's grandson. This whole team loved playing for Coach Campbell. We really did. We were really looking forward to the season. But, I mean, when I heard the news that he was coming to be the head coach, it was like a dream come true. I mean, I've, I love the guy. I mean, I've been, I've talked football with him since I was five years old. I, I, it's, like, it's awesome. We asked C.J. what the pressure is like to play for not just a legendary coach, but his family. I mean, I don't feel much pressure. He really talks to me about that uh, outside these walls, and I mean, he j he's just, he's got me ready to be a good quarterback, I think, and he's really, uh, he's given me all the coaching that I think that I need, and we keep working very hard, so a lot of pressure's taken off because I have such a great team outside of me. I don't really need to make a lot of plays because <laughs> we have a great line, we have great receivers, great backs, so it's pretty easy. Well, he's got a lot of pressure on him because his name, you know, but... That's part of the position anyway. If you want to be a quarterback, you better be able to deal with pressure. The good ones have, have done it. The guy that followed Ron Pallas, he stepped right in and won, won big. The guy that followed him stepped in and won big. That was Dave Robbins. So, you know, and I can remember Dave saying to me, I, I welcome the challenge. I want it. I know what it takes. But you don't think about that. You just think about winning. You don't think about yesterday. You think about today and tomorrow and every day forward. And that's the approach we use. Senior wide receiver and free safety Jake Peccarelli is expected to be one of the best in eastern Pennsylvania. And while he enjoyed playing under Campbell, it's two completely different schools of thought. Discipline is it's become a lot greater than when Coach Campbell was here, and uh, it is it, everybody's more excited. It's just because we're co we're playing for a legend. The team also has a new extra point kicker in sophomore Olivia Seeley. I will say this: she's better than a lot of kickers I've had. That girl is unbelievable. She's been kicking since she's a little girl. She went to the punt pass and kick contest down in uh, Eagle Stadium. I mean, she's been around. I mean, she's, 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 she's kicked. She's a kicker. She's a legitimate kicker. She does a great job. So we're, we're glad we got her. I mean, the other day she was like 40 out of 41 from, I think, from 35 yards in. So she's pretty good. Growing up with Curry, Seeley is excited to be a part of his winning tradition. We've been down here every day. I go, I kick probably 50, field, 50 times, so just trying to get better. Um, soccer helped a lot, and I don't, we, my dad's coached with coach for, since I was born, so I've kind of grown up with the football life. <laughs> The Bulldogs will head up to face the Crestwood Comics for Comets for what will be an interesting game August 31st. That's it for the first half of sports. Much more coming up in the second, but stay tuned. Lisa's back with today's top story recaps.